Hi, so as I promised, I will make uh, a video, this video, to present the changes on, uh, changes on the new generation of Magnum Companion. Some of you that order from me may already have some of these changes as I uh, as I introduce them uh, silently. So uh, some of uh, the people who bought from me, they might have these changes. Uh, most of the changes are uh, on the multi-handle and some of the other accessories on the body of the um, of the companion itself there are not too many changes there are just uh, some uh, um, some uh, optimizations uh, there are coming some uh, two of the changes uh, uh, which are uh, suggested by the people who bought this but uh, that I don't know when I only uh, implement that in the companion. Uh, so, on the companion, one of the changes is that I brought my logo back. Yeah, uh, before I had uh, written just Arctic here because uh, some people complain that uh, they don't like uh, to show off a logo which is. Uh, similar with the uh, Jolly Joker or whatever it's called, the uh, pirate flag. Uh, when I had uh, my logos with the uh, uh, phosphorescent uh, paint, the white paint, yeah, uh, some uh, some guy complained that his daughter uh, was scared by this logo glowing in the night. So, uh, in one of the versions I actually remove my logo and I wrote it Artec uh, but I brought it back. If you don't like my logo uh, I don't know what to tell you this is my uh, my trade logo and will stay here. Um, so the logo is coming back uh, you have the writing Magnum because this is Magnum series I have the normal series which is much smaller and doesn't have on the back the other tray, but I see majority of the people are actually buying Magnum. Uh, the M, it's with different color on the end because uh, these are actually were developed for the military purpose. To, to be honest, I received some orders from some uh, military people, uh, but now it's available for uh if you buy from me you will have this also uh another change on this uh um on the bad body of the of the um, companion sorry first of all that now i do the these parts on here and on the back in high visibility color. I'm trying to do this. Uh, I don't know how much I can do this because it's depending on the material, how much material I have. You will also have my email here if you want to contact me for, I don't know, for some problems or you want some clarification or you want to, <laughs> to buy another one because I have people who already bought uh, two or three times from me. And also one other problem is one other improvement, not problem. On the original uh, companions, I have the spacer here. Uh, and normally it was made in such a way that when you take whatever you have in the top of it, it will come out very easy, freely. Uh, but some people complain that uh, they could not take it off. So I actually make a channel between them. So now this back, uh, this uh, gray, let's say, surface here is the, on the same level with uh, the surfaces where is the bottom of the the support for the for the spacers. So you can put a fingernail underneath and pull it out. I will not show you that because I don't have to <laughs> to big off the fingernails. So these are our, the changes on the body of companion. Let me check on my list to see. So.
So now I will show you just some small improvements on the multi-handle and some of the um, some of the accessories. Um, the main the main improvement, which most of you who bought in the last months, let's say, they already have, is that the multi-handle have a few extra features. First of the feature is that it's have now the support for multi-handle, it's actually have a notch, let me see if I can, a notch here, you see it, a notch here that is supposed to fix a problem that it was with the normal uh, companion before is was that uh, when this uh, support it was getting a little bit loose if it uh, this will stay too much inside of this uh, this multi handle will fall a little bit uh, it will come out very easy so it was the problem that we could fall so now i put that uh, notch and that notch is supposed to enter in a channel on the multi handle yeah, so when you put the multi-handle back, it's actually clicking inside there. And even if this is coming a little bit loose, this will not fall down. Uh, the thing is that you will you'll receive this with the notch, but the multi-handle will have no channel on it. Why is that? Because the channel you will do it on the height you want. So you will move this in a position you want together with the multi-handle and you mark where do you want to to have the multi-handle put and uh, you will mark where to make the notch and you can make the notch with the, a file from uh, from the companion or uh, or the, the saw or something else because it's very easy to give to make a channel inside here for example this one here it's actually done with the file with the long part of the file let me see if i find something i will show you on dark it is done with this part of the file yeah so like this so you do you move this place in where you want it because to be honest you might have the multi-handle holding not only the ratchet from from uh, Leatherman, which is very hard to find, but you can use uh, a normal extension. You put it inside here, and maybe in this way you can move it. You can move the multi-handle lower or higher if you put something else. For example, this. You can move it higher yeah so you make the channel where you think this you can stay uh, regarding this support another thing is you have a grab screw here that actually will allow you to use to fix whatever you put inside here yeah either if it's a leatherman ratchet or leatherman extension or a normal extension, yeah, or uh, the one from from Victory Nox or this one. If you, you have a magnet here that will keep this extension, but if you want to to hold it here more secure, more you know permanent, you have a grab screw here, and after you put this, you tie this grab screw here, as you see here, and it, the thing it doesn't it doesn't come off, it will stay here a lot. It will stay uh, here quite uh, secure. Another change on the multi handle. Now you have a hole here. If you decide to not use the multi handle with the with the companion, you can uh, let me take this one off. You can uh, hook it with something here, and you can keep it in your keychain or something. Yeah, I just put this because somebody requested. Uh, another improvement which is a little bit um, experimental, let's say, for the moment, 
it's when uh, all these spaces here, normally they were done to accommodate the writing with the version number, uh, the material from which this is done. Uh, and uh, this writing it was uh, before it was coming outside, in outside, now it's going inside in order to allow you to have these surfaces flat. So now when you have, um, when you need more torque for this, so normally a screwdriver, the, the biggest uh, force you need on the screwdriver, it's actually to press it towards the screw. But if you need to torque a little bit higher, these spaces are actually done in order to, to have um, something to multiply that torque force yeah so you can you can use this kind of system and uh, torque it a little bit higher uh, before i was using i i was using this for this uh, task but uh, this is actually damaging the the multi handle and i didn't like it so now i have some sur flat surfaces where you can uh, where you can put uh, a spanner or the ratchet uh, or this I don't remember how it's called this yeah and keep it on the flat surfaces and use it to have a torque I don't know how much torque you you can put in uh, this without damaging but it will be a little bit of the help another change on this it's actually on the sharpening angle yeah so you have before i had 20 degrees angle on this so you can sharpen uh, any blade with 20 degrees with the diamond file but some people uh, actually complain that uh, um, leatherman it's uh, sharpened at uh, 17 degrees so i actually put 17 degrees here and uh, this will allow you to sharpen the knife at 70 degrees uh, arc is uh, at 70 degrees a surge and i think all the multi-tools of uh, leatherman they are sharpened at 70 degrees so now you have 70 degrees here and uh, in case of an emergency you can actually sharpen the blade here like this on 70 degrees yeah just a small thing but it's helpful helpful if you have uh, just the multi-tool and the, the companion with you it's actually give you a lot of uh, of functions some other functions for example what i use it for now that the companion have um, much stronger magnets here and a very strong magnet here and the same on this channel you can actually use this channel to put the screws when you disassemble some something yeah so for example i put the screws on the on the main cover here because they are usually more uh, more screws on the cover and if i have any layers of uh, the pcb boards or something that I have to disassemble. I put the screws for each layer on this on these magnets here. You can actually see it through through this. Um, they are more powerful. Sometimes will give you a little bit of problems to to take out the things that are attached here because the magnets are starting to to get very strong. Um, but if you buy this let me know if you consider that these magnets are actually too strong yeah so i have a lot of things here and i wanted to including a, a magnifier glass small magnifier glass and i wanted to have a lot of um, magnets to keep everything in place uh, but if you buy this uh, you can tell me maybe we can change it back to much smaller screws in this side here another change as you saw i don't know if i mentioned it already in the video 
uh, I put this high visibility so it will give you a high contrast um, this is normally for when you use it in a in a twilight setup uh, it's actually a problem that in a twilight is very hard to to see details and uh, this will help you with that yeah so with the multi handle i think i i said everything one other change is with I know that you people, some of you complain that uh, that uh, co the companions are expensive. Uh, there are some people who didn't bought it because they think it's expensive. Uh, so I try to lower the price on them, but without uh, actually making me work for almost nothing. Yeah, so. One of the changes on these companions are actually that if you if you buy the string uh, ends, the one which are keeping the elastic bands or uh, or any string, you are actually have it included in them the volt switch support. So you don't need to buy it separately when you buy this to this pair you can use the Volti switch. If you want to put the Volti switch somewhere else on the companion, you can buy a separate Volti switch. But if you buy this too, you already have a support for Volti switch. Yeah. So this will save you a few bucks that you don't need to buy this anymore. Uh, one thing is the the support for the handle, the multi-handle, it's actually done in order to to be away a little bit from the companion. Yeah, so it's keeping the multi-handle and the ratchet a little bit away from the companion, so you will have enough space to put the voltage switch inside. Uh, and it will also give you space to push this a little bit higher if you want. And another thing is, I don't know if I have them in mind. Um, this um, support have uh, four holes here or three holes, three holes, yeah, where you can put a normal, um, normal um, steel pin. Sorry. So you have, if you buy normal steel pins like this yeah uh, you can find it in a uh, shop for uh, office which is have office supplies you can keep three of them here just in case you need them um, normally some of you maybe they receive you receive this with pins inside some of you maybe didn't uh, i will be honest with you uh, people from customs they are getting weary when uh, when they see metallic things that can be uh, stubby. So these pins normally it's better that you, if you put them here, not uh, you don't receive them from me, so they will not be in the package when I send it to you. Because I have some uh, some comments from the customs that. Uh, they are uh, stubby things or they they even see the the hinge from uh, from the companion and uh, they kind of didn't like them didn't like uh, that situation yeah so you have another function added with the multi handle most of you as you bought the uh, the multi handle in uh, in the last 2 months or something like that you already have these features in the multi uh, in the multi handle. So uh, this is what I what I done, and I put two features in one, so you don't spend too much money. This is the holder for the ratchet alone. 
yeah, but it doesn't work in conjunction with this because they are in a different height. Um, one other feature that is not finished yet, I don't know if I should tell you about that. Uh, it's actually that here, I don't know if it's visible for each line, you have a notch. So now you can do this. You put the pencil in one of these notches, if it's working. Let me, let me take this one of these. You put the, no, uh, the pencil or whatever the marker in one of these notches and we'll hold it steady. Well, not in my case. <laughs> to, to make a continuous line. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like a square. The first intention it was actually to have have it working with this edge. Yeah. So you put this edge on the edge of the of the part and you put the pencil on the notch and you make a, a relatively straight line. Um, this feature is not ready yet. I have to think about uh, because right now the dimensions from this edge to this uh, rulers are uh, different, are not uh, something very specific yet. And if I do the ruling start, ruler starting from here, I will uh, eliminate the part which will help you to to measure screws. And for me, measuring screw, screws are more important uh, with this kind of uh, of um, let's say mini toolbox. Yeah. So these are changes mostly. Uh, there are changes on the materials. I have uh, two new colors. One is the gray you see here. Uh, one is the sandstorm, the, the one which is, uh, I don't know, kind of coyote. Um, I don't have that with me right now. You can order in this or in, uh, in black as before or in blue. I don't have any blue with me. Um, so you choose the color. I prefer this one. I like it a lot. I also have uh, the Coyote Brown, whatever is called, Sunstorm, what, whatever is called. Uh, but at the moment this video is done uh, with my gray part. And um, another gray companion which tomorrow or day after it will be sent to somebody in the United States. Because he paid for it. Yeah, so this will be sent to United States. So these are the changes. Um, as I said, there are some changes coming also, but I really don't know when these changes will be available because uh, that will, uh, will imply that I will have to modify the companion in the, in the entirety and also all the rail accessories will be modified. So I hope you will find this use useful. Uh, I might need probably to make another video with uh, Magnum Companion and say all the features even if some uh, a lot of people which are watching the channel already saw that. But I have a lot of views on the first version of the Companion and I will have to do an updated uh, version of the companion with all the features so I can redirect the people who are watching that video with the first uh, version of the companion to a video which is uh, is explaining again all the features because to be honest uh, the Magnum it's actually have quite a lot of features compare extra I mean a lot of extra features compare with the original version of the companion yeah and it's also bigger I have uh, uh, more and more functionality and it's more um, 
you can arrange everything in a, in on the edges on your desire the the first version it was just a, a fix fix a setup let's say like that so i i hope you like that thank you for having a, a patience to to stay with me for this entire video there are a lot of features so that's why it was uh, uh, so long until the next video may the tool be always with you and i hope you enjoy your multi-tool and if you bought the companion or something else from me see you later bye